Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octeo Studio and it is month four for our shimmery art collaboration between myself, Peg, Ina, and Eva. Be sure to check out their videos linked below. I have all their little links for their videos. And for our shimmery month, shimmery art this month, it is candy packaging. I always make Valentine candy packaging and so when I suggested this they all thought it would be fun. So. What I'm going to do is recycle an old tin. This had Dove chocolates in it and it said best if used by 2014 on the bottom so it's an old one. I always save these metal tins usually at Christmas time because I always think oh I can use this for something. <laughs> of course I can. I can use it for something. So the first thing I did was to sand off some of the shiny stuff. I didn't I didn't go overboard on it, but I did sand it with the sanding block and then wiped off all the dust um, from the sanding using a baby wipe. And then now I've got some uh, heavy gesso and I'm just giving it a coat of heavy gesso to give, you know, the surface something to stick stuff to. More paints and things. So that was my first preparation and I set that side to dry then this box has everything left over from the three boxes that I received from Ina and Eva and Peg for our shimmery art collaboration and so I'm just picking out bits and bobs from there that I think I might use and I want to do purple I know I want to do purple and so I'm picking out mostly purple stuff and then I was actually inspired by that jelly print that you see there. I think it was from Ina, I think. And it has purples and then it has copper. And you know I love copper. So I decided to make my project purple and copper. Interesting combination. They're both, they can be both warm colors um, depending on the shades that you use. And this is the tag off of the original uh, little chocolate tin and I decided to use it as part of my design but it's very thin and it's it's a cardboard but it's thin so I decided to beef it up because I thought it would be my main um, something that would be like a main thing on here because I was going to cover with the jelly print and the jelly print was my inspiration and so I ended up adding an extra piece of a pa some other packaging to it and then um, cutting it out so now it's two layers it's thicker it's not so flimsy and it, uh, that also covers up that little hole that's punched in it which I don't plan on using I'm not going to make it into a tag I'm going to make it into you know a structural piece of the composition and then this is the ultra glitter mod podge that Ina sent me and I'm using it to attach my jelly print to my um, heart and uh, it, it makes extra glitter on top of it it's hard to see in the video then this is a piece of corrugated cardboard paper and I was making a heart out of that then my camera someone called me and my camera turned off and I forgot to turn it back on <laughs> so you don't see me cutting out the rest of that stuff but um, or maybe you do I don't know at some point I had some camera technical difficulties and I know I missed I missed filming a major step that I'll talk about when I get to it but this is a paint from deco art and it's their new shimmery metallic paint and I got this one at CHA they gave it to me as a sample so I'm not sure if it's even out in the stores yet but it you know they do have the, the shimmering metallics and they claim that this one's even more shimmery I don't know I can't compare because I don't have any of the other metallic but this is really pretty paint and of course it's copper I don't know how they knew to give me copper but they did so then this is the step that you missed I I didn't want those embossed swirly flourish designs that are actually embossed into the the what is it aluminum um, sticking up I didn't I wanted to I, you know it's kind of like on chopped where they give you a basket ingredients and they say transform these 
make them into something else. I wanted to make this into something that looked different than what it was. So I wanted to get rid of those shim those swirly things on flourishy world swirly things. So I used um, Prima Art Basics crackle texture paste and I used a um, palette knife and scraped it over the top and then let that dry a bit and I even did dry it some with the heat tool because I got impatient and so <laughs> it did actually crack up pretty nice um, interesting how it does different on paper than it does on metal or whatever so I wanted the cracked part to be this dark purple color so I painted the whole thing with the dark purple and then now I'm dry brushing the copper color over the top and the reason that I'm dry brushing is so that the paint doesn't go down into the cracks because I want the cracks to remain that darker color so that you can see the crackle because what's the point of having crackle if you can't see the crackle right but I still do see some of that embossed design on it um, I don't know I was kind of mad it was still kind of there a little bit in places yeah dumb stuff <laughs> I guess I didn't make the crackle thick enough so I end up messing with a lot more but I did do um, a dry brush coat over it of the copper and then I'm just using up the extra on this piece of cardboard that I'm going to cut into hearts and I'm using my finger to go around the edge of my main focal piece um, to cover up the two layers of cardstock or not cardstock but uh, cardboard um, the edges of it you know they don't they look brown and they don't match the design so during this video I do go off uh, camera quite a bit um, I guess I was pulling things close to myself again and I wasn't really paying attention because I was very focused on what I was doing <laughs> this is another little bit of a paint that um, Eva sent me and it is it's from PBO and it's an interference color so an interference color you know in the tub it looks white but then when I put it over that darker background it looks pink it's interference purple and it's a strange consistency it says another word on there um, I need to research it uh, I haven't gotten around to that yet but it says something like bindex or something like that on it um, so I ended up smoothing it out I mean I think it could almost be a texture paste I don't know it's it's pretty thick um, I ended up smoothing it out with the baby wipe but then when I did that a little bit of the darker color came through and I decided you know what I'm leaving it it's got you know spots of the darker purple coming through and it's starting to look more aged and grungy and you know different so then I still wanted to to disrupt the eye visually and try to get away from those swirly patterns so I decided to use this Prima crackle stencil and some light modeling paste light mold molding paste whatever you call it I still can't remember um, to make some more crackles that stand up off of the piece rather than being down in they're up off so two different types of crackles on this and I think that that is distracting enough that you you don't really see the swirlies anymore so I'm letting that dry and while I let it dry I'm going to make some more hearts and things to decorate the top so I have this piece of cardboard that I painted copper I'm gonna um, cut a couple hearts out of that just freehand uh, I guess I did trace trace well I didn't trace I drew one of them but after that I said heck with drawing and I just started to cut them out freehand <laughs> because I can you know why not and I'm gonna cut some out of all these different papers that I picked out from all the shimmery stuff um, that one's a tag that has looks like it was at one point copper I mean craft color and then it's got purple paint and then purpley pink glitter um, there's a little charm that's a heart that I'm going to use I've got that pink swirly thing which I end up putting on taking off putting on taking off and I'm just cutting out hearts from the different papers 
and I can't tell you who sent me what papers at this point because I put them all in the same box. It's all mixed up. So I don't know. I know that this stuff came from people, but I don't know which ones came from what people. <laughs> I'll bet they can't remember either, so it's it's no big deal. <laughs> so there's some glitter cardstock. There's this like shimmery cardstock. There's, um, of course, I did my corrugated piece. I did some copper colored ones. This one was already a heart shape, but it was kind of weird. It was uh, one of them was already a heart shape, and it had pink glitter on it. I I don't know. Anyway shimmery things they're all shimmery things <laughs> so then I decided I wanted to add even more stuff to my top here and so I get out this aging making aged metal kit from Tattered Angels um, has a glaze and three glimmer mists in it and I haven't I actually hadn't used it yet you can see I was opening it and it's you're supposed to be able to use it to make anything paper or wood or canvas or whatever look like aged metal so I'm trying it out and I'm taking the glaze and putting it over all the different areas that are that have the white raised crackles on it because I don't want them to be white you know I don't want them to be the color of the modeling paste I want them to be something else so I'm just very loosely kind of dabbing and letting it run down in between and letting those crackly bits stand out a lot and I was pretty happy with that thought well I'm gonna do some splatters with some of these other ones there's a dark one and there's a medium one and there's a light one so I decided to just do splotches and splatters with these um, and then I also had pulled out a kind of a purple colored glimmer mist as well from my box so I splattered some of that on there and I think I end up spritzing it a little bit more with this light color which didn't really make that much of a difference actually but I figured I'd try them all out since I hadn't even opened the box yet <laughs> I'll try that out some more on a something else you know that I can really try to make something look like aged metal rusty iron or something you know I will do that that's why I bought it so then my final thing that I'm going to do to this after I dried it everything up is I've got some um, Inca gold the color is old silver but it looks like a really light colored gold and I just took my finger and went over and just touched some of those high <clears throat> popped out crackle areas to kind of highlight them and I'm pretty happy with how the base of my tin thingy candy holder thing looks now so I got these these purple trims which I really love I wish I had more of them I believe that uh, they came from Eva because she knows that I like purple and they're really shimmery and sparkly so I put a strip of that across like it's a ribbon tied on and then I'm just arranging and um, auditioning all my different little elements that I've cut out from different papers and cardstocks seeing how they look trying to decide about the swirl <laughs> I decide instead of the swirl that I'm gonna have a bow so I get out some purple organza ribbon and make a bow and then I've got some copper cord which is almost gone and I wish I could find some more of it I got that from Stampin up years ago I don't know if they still have it or if I could find something like it but I really like it, it I had copper gold and silver of that big roll of it there's like one little lonely piece left on there <laughs> so I make a double bow with some tails and put that on top I think I like that so then I decide that I need to edge all my hearts because they are blending in too much and so I get out some uh, dark purple this is eggplant elegance I believe stampin up ink from a long time ago don't know if they still have the color but it's a dark purple and I use a finger dauber to go around the edge of all of my hearts and I think that makes them you know come forward from the background more it gives them 
limits and then I don't know it just helps it does something for me that helps me be able to see them better I'm not sure what you know I tend to like to draw lines around things so it's kind of the same type of an idea <laughs> so I start assembly um, I've got some foam tape that I'm going to put some of the pieces on with and starting out with my biggest heart which used to be the tag that came with the container and I've also got hot glue so I'm going to use hot glue for some of it and foam tape for other of it I don't know why can't really explain it I just am <laughs> I keep rearranging them and I keep getting them out of order and I wish that um, I would have taken a picture so that of the original the original layout that I liked I wish I would have taken a picture of it but I use my cam my phone to film and so my phone is what I would have taken the picture with you know what I'm saying so I need some other kind of camera or else some other kind of picture taking device <laughs> that's the reason that I didn't do that but it's a good idea it's a good idea to do that once you're happy with something take a picture and then you'll be able to duplicate it because I know they came out different than there I originally had them for sure I know they did So I think for the re most of the rest of it, I'm attaching everything with hot glue because they are going, they're flat as opposed to being dimensional. So some of them are coming up from the thing and some of them are laying flat on the background to make it more visually interesting. And then of course the different colors and all the sparkle and shimmer and shine makes it very visually interesting. I had this one little enamel dot thing um, happened to be purple so I put that in the middle to cover up the hot glue in the middle of the bow and then there's these little mirror tiles that that was in the box and I used some of those around and some gems I put on some different sticky gems they all seemed pretty sticky I, I didn't uh, you know go and re-glue them or anything I just used the sticky that came with it and some other bigger ones and it's looking pretty blingy it's got a lot of bling on it um, then I moved to the glass bead gel and a little bit of chunky glitter that was in the box it's got purples and pinks if you're enjoying this video please remember to give it a thumbs up um, comment subscribe share and don't forget to go to the links below the video and check out my friends's shimmery art video videos and also if you want to you can come and join our Facebook group and I'll put a link down there for that as well that's a shimmery art Facebook group because all that stuff is fun and we like to see what you do so I'm putting the glass bead gel on and then I am sprinkling a little bit of the chunky glitter and then I get out the copper beads and sprinkle a little bit of that in there just you know just to make it super shimmery craziness so I think this project was pretty fun I hope you enjoyed it and that's it for me thanks bye bye